Chihuahua the Movie. Chihuahua the Movie came out in 2011, created by Laguna Production. It stars Peanut the Chihuahua, or as they renamed him, Bella. Why? Apparently Igby ordered this movie, so I have to watch it. The movie opens up with an interrogation? I'm actually not sure what the hell is going on here. But it's all just a dream. And this generic blonde wakes up and opens her laptop to her website. You look happier than I feel. And there he is. Or she. Peanut. Or Bella. The mom looks like she's been eating a little too many Peanut and Bella sandwiches, if you know what I mean. She's obese. Hey, let's watch the kids try to act. She doesn't pass her test. How much will she be paid? Ugh, this is triggering. I'm oh, sorry, look, that's probably mine. Here, take this one. So, Sandra, something's been going on. I really want to share it with you. This is sugar in it, too, Jordan. I really like this coffee subplot. I want to see where they go with this. Sandra? Who the fuck is that? You used to live across the street. You practically live there, too. All the sleepovers, the dress up, the doll parties, oh, and the mud pies. Mud pies. <laughs> then shit happens, and trust me, none of it matters. But then the pooch escapes! Bella, no. She's actually training to be a therapy dog. Oh, really? I can see how she would be wonderful with sick people. Oh, what the fuck does that mean? Maybe change would be good for my old friend, Sandra. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, can you not rub your J.O. crystal and make it thunder in here? My hand. Rude. Ah! Are you okay? You called the paramedic? You're all gonna hate me for saying this, but I love this movie. Call the paramedic! Call the paramedic! Oh, no, the dog's dead! It's urgent. Sandra Bell, No! Okay, get this. I'm not lying. Voodoo bootleg Brooke Shields over here uses her J.O. crystal to kill the generic blonde and put her soul inside of Rosie O'Donnell's dog. This is all true. Based on a true story. Bella, wait! Bella, come now! Wait, hold on a second here, Buster. What is that supposed to be? What is that dog doing? Why is that dog doing what I'm doing? Why don't I see me? This is... This is crazy. I mean, someone stop that chihuahua! Wait! Wait, I gotta get my body back! Ah! Where do you think you're going, huh? So, oh, oh gosh! Ah. Okay, literally the only thing a girl dog can't do they decided to have it do. Should have just kept it peanut. So there's this whole other subplot where they're trying to get the dog to be some kind of assistant living dog. Are you up for the examination? Are you ready for the examination? Oh, oh, jeez. So they put the dog, which if you remember, is now the dumb blonde through a gauntlet test. Hey, watch it, buddy. Why are we not doing anything about this? Oh my gosh. I, I, I've never seen this dog act like this before. Okay, you caught it running out of a building, and it's pissed on you twice now, sir. What's your metric of standards on becoming an assistant living dog? Because I feel like I could pass. I'd piss on you. Then the dog goes to Grandma's house. Grandma dies. And the dog calls 911. I gotta do everything around here. I couldn't have written this any better myself, but it gets even more. Dog's at the hospital and just wanders away and finds her own dead body. I'm here. It's me. Both of me. It's just a fun family chihuahua movie. Somehow this qualifies the dog to retake the gauntlet test again. You know, I'm going out on a limb here. You better not make a fool of me. I don't know why, but I kind of like this guy. That's it! <laughs> he reminds me of Charlie Chapman. So the blonde woman chihuahua passes all the tests and gets to hang out with cancer children. Is that a camera? Not just any camera, Jeannie. This is an instant camera. Ooh. I'm moving up in technology. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is so cool. I'm gonna put it on my wall. <laughs> You're dying. You know, sometimes there are reasons that people aren't nice. Cause they're mean. Damn, checkmate, you fat sometimes bitch. People... My dad died in Iraq, and I'm not mean to people. <laughs> 
fucking the Chihuahua movie. So Chihuahua Lady overhears all the people who hated her as a bimbo and learns about appreciating life through the pain of dying cancer children. Check out this awesome shop for a pointless scene that doesn't matter. I'm impressed. Then the dog woman murders a child, which is a sacrifice for her own dying body. I made that part up, but it doesn't matter because it's the Chihuahua movie. Sandra's dying, we don't have much time. I'm sorry? Sandra's dying, we don't have much time. Okay, yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, she hit her head a couple days ago, and doctors don't know exactly what happened. Cut! 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 Let's do that again, that was horrible! That's a smart woman, she needs to do another take. She does it. It's more than this director did. Also, more of this awesome shit happened. So, Sandra becomes the next Jesus. That tickles. Let's her fiance fuck a new woman, and becomes best friends with the witch that turned her into a fucking dog. I just wanted my old friend back, the one that was taken away from me years ago. Wow. So the moral of the Chihuahua movie um, would be not, not to have a friend who you, is a witch turn you into a fucking dog. Oh no, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I think I'm dying. Oh, Igby, call 911. Hello, thank you for calling 900 fucking gay faggot. My name's Benjamin. Do you wanna fuck me? Do you want to fuck over the phone?